Boston's Classic Rock 100.7 WZLX. Chuck Nolan here. Uh, we have a very special guest in our studio right now who just came from across the street over at the beautiful multi-million dollar Channel 2 Studios. Uh, and I'm sure our place is just as nice as that. Oh, it is. It's, it's, it's even more beautiful. I'm sure they don't have a Ronnie James Dio calendar over no, there. No, they don't. And they don't have a great shot of Jimi Hendrix in the front, too. They which, certainly which don't. Which you guys do. The unmistakable voice of Graham Nash. Thanks for coming by. You're very welcome, Chuck. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How Good. are you feeling? I feel fantastic. I'm alive. I'm breathing. You look great. You look like you've been working out. A little P90X, something um, like that. The truth is I've got three kids, you know. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. And even a, grand, a grandchild who was a year old about two days ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Graham Nash is in town because tomorrow night at the Wilbur Theater, you're going to be doing a show there, and tickets are available at thewilbur.com. And you're playing as a trio. you got a couple of guys from the Crosby, Stills, Nash tour with you? That's true. I've got uh, James Raymond on keyboards, and he's a brilliant, brilliant keyboard player, uh, and Shane Fontaine on guitar, uh, who, and they're both, they both play in the Crosby, Stills, and Nash band. That's great. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to strip all the songs down to their very essence, because if I can't, if I can't reach you with my guitar and a song... I'm wasting your time, and I don't want to do that because how much time do we have left when all said and done? But people are loving hearing all the words. You know, they're loving uh, uh, the closeness and the intimacy of, of where we're playing. I mean, we have played, as you well know, to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people at once. But uh, these small venues that I'm that I'm doing are very satisfying. At what point in the show do you? twerk like Miley Cyrus is there a certain point where <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank god our music was never about uh, you know <laughs> twerking all, all that stuff you know god bless her she she seems to be having a great time she's an adult you know she's in, the, in uh, you know but um i'd i'd like to hear you know something a little deeper i agree we're talking with Graham Nash who's at the Wilbur Theater tomorrow night uh, after your solo tour, you're back finishing up a tour with Crosby, Stills, Nash over in the motherland, as yes, they say. Yes, we, we're doing uh, about nine shows in England, and we, three of them are at the uh, Royal Albert Hall, which uh, we love to play. It's a, it's a beautiful place to play. So much history in those walls. And how are David Crosby and Stephen Stills? Fantastic. David, you know, the truth is that, you know, the average lifespan for a liver recipient is, is about 15 years, and Crosby's at... Almost 19 years now. Wow. And, and still rocking. All his numbers are good. He's singing like an angel. I, I, he continues to astound me. I mean, I know he's a Leo, but my God, he's on, he must be on his 17th life, <laughs> you know? Uh, but even in his, I, I must confess that even in his darkest times, I, I never thought David would ever die f from his drug abuse. I, I always had this feeling inside that, the great, good David Crosby, whose heart I loved, is still in there somewhere. And a lot of people say that I was a good friend to David, but he would be there for me if I was in a similar position. I know that. And so would Stephen. And so would Neil. We love each other. We have put each other through madness, as, and you know. And you're reading Wild Tales, some of the madness that went on. You know it's been crazy. But we always we're smart enough to realize that the music is way more important than our personal differences. You mentioned Wild Tales, uh, Graham Nash's autobiography, Wild Tales of Rock and Roll Life, out today. Uh, it comes out today, yeah. And I was just asking before we went on if you wanted to hear some of the reviews. There's a lot of reviews out there. You said, no, I don't want to know. No, I, I, it's terrifying to me. <laughs> you know, it's just me talking, and, and the fact that people, you know, so far seem to, seem to really love it is it, it's thrilling for me because, you know, when you're talking music or photography, I'm kind of, I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing, you know. Yeah. But this is a whole different world, this publishing world. One of the stories I was reading, you were in Manhattan last week, I think, taping the audio book. Yes. That has to be kind of strange to actually to read speak your my life. Words. Yes, yeah. to speak my life was very interesting because I rarely look backwards. There's not much you can do about it, right? I've got it out of my system now. It's like, it's like when I write a song, you know, it's not done and finished until it's on record somewhere and people have the ability to share with it. It's not done. And until that moment happens, it drives me crazy. It was the same with the manuscript for my book. Now it's done. Now, now I can turn the other way and get on with the rest of my life, which I'm sure is going to be fascinating. 
In uh, Wild Tales, an excerpt here about Neil Young, uh, it says that you see your time with Neil as a long, strange trip with a man whom you regard as having a heart with two faucets, hot and cold. Th- that's how I see Neil. I, you know, I, 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 I tried to be as honest as, as, as I could in the book. I mean, why write an autobiography and lie in it? That, that, that doesn't make sense. You know, so I try to be as honest as, as, as possible. And at the same time, I have incredible respect for my partners. You know, I, I love what, uh, what, what they do in their spare time, the charities they give to, the, the benefits that we all do to help people. You know, uh, Neil called me uh, about a week ago and invited Crosby, Stills & Nash to join him at the Bridge Benefit this year. Uh, and it's something we, that we've done. I mean, I think there's been like 27 annual events. Neil, Neil and his wife Peggy have this, uh, this organization called the Bridge School, which, which helps uh, children with special needs. And we did the very first one. We've done four or five since. And it, it was a thrill for Neil to call, you know, because, you know, let's get real. It's Neil Young. Absolutely. <laughs> We're talking with Graham Nash and talking about his book out today, Wild Tales, uh, about David Crosby. You're right. The only time legal ever called me about the story I put in there about Crosby selling his Mercedes to a crack dealer and the guy ODs and Crosby breaks into the house while the body is still warm and stole back the sales slip for the car. That was the only thing that legal called me about from Random House, from Crown. And they wanted to make sure, it was such an astonishing story. They really needed to know that, you know, their lawyers really needed to know whether it was true. So I, I told Crosby, Crosby what I'd written, and he wrote back to me. He says, it's fantastic. Not only did I do that, not only do I own up to all the madness I created for you guys, not only was I in a di- downward spiral, but I did exactly what you said. And not only that, when I did get my pink slip, I resold the car for crack. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought he wasn't going to die at any yeah, point back then. I, I never thought Crosby was... It never occurred to me. And, and I understand the danger of drugs. I understand the dangers of the thin edge of life that we were living on. I never thought Crosby was going to die. Still alive and kicking. Still touring with you guys. Yes, indeed. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Tickets are available. And I guess I should call you Dr. Nash because... You got an honorary doctor of fine arts from Lesley University in Cambridge just a few months ago. And and there's a they have a, a show of my photographs on right now. In fact, when I leave here, I'm going over there to to hang out and see what they did. Great. Can anybody go over and see it? I, I believe so. Everybody go on over there. Come on over. Lesley University. Let's go. Graham Nash, tomorrow night, Wilbur Theater. Tickets available at thewilbur.com. And thanks so much for coming by here. Chuck, you're very welcome.